Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Susan Davis and I am going to help you learn how to eat keto for life um, or remain eating keto for life. If you love keto friendly foods, you guys are in for a treat. Tonight we're going to be making keto friendly cauliflower crust, barbecue chicken, jalapeno, and pineapple pizza. Stay tuned. All right, so first thing I do, I always start with fresh cauliflower and I always grate my own. And so the first thing that you're gonna need to do is grate up two, one cup, uh, two cups of cauliflower. And you're gonna grate that, you know, obviously with your grater. And we're going to add some, one cup of mozzarella cheese. We're going to add one cup of Frigo Parmesan cheese, as well as two eggs to make our crust. All right, so now that we've got the cauliflower, the Parmesan cheese, and the mozzarella cheese all grated into the bowl, I've added two eggs, and I'm also going to add a little bit of McCormick garlic powder, just because I like to have the crust have a little bit of a garlicky flavor. So we're just gonna put some of that in there. And then basically you're just going to mix this mixture together until it's all incorporated. And then we're going to form this into a cauliflower pizza crust. The next thing that you're gonna do is get yourself a pizza tin. I've got my pizza here. And you're gonna want to cover that in parchment paper. You don't want to do this without putting parchment paper down because the, the dough just will not work. Now that you've got your pan lined, you're gonna dump your dough onto the tray and you're basically just gonna take this and form it around all the way out to the edge of your pizza pan. And I didn't trim this because I don't typically do that, but you're just gonna make it in a circle and you're just gonna pat it down all the way around the tray. There's gonna be plenty um, plenty of dough. And you wanna go through and make sure that you pick out any pieces of cauliflower that may have uh, ended up in there not getting, um, not getting grated very well. Uh, you definitely don't want any big chunks like this of cauliflower in your crust. Now, once your crust is ready, you wanna go ahead and get that into your preheated 350 degree uh, oven. And you're gonna let that cook for approximately 20 minutes. You're just gonna to have to keep an eye on your oven to see how that turns out. This is the completed, ready to go into the oven crust. We're gonna go ahead and get that in there. And you will be able to see how this comes out of the oven here in about 20 minutes. All right, so this is what your pizza crust looks like coming out of the oven. You can see it's actually very pliable. Um, it's going to feel just like a pizza crust. And I use a pizza stone, so that's kind of what you're seeing this on. Uh, it's not the best thing to look at, but man, they sure do work really well. And so now what we're going to do is going to put our toppings on here. And this is gonna be a chicken pineapple barbecue pizza. And so this is my favorite. I'm just gonna give this a plug. Um, and I apologize for the label. It was the only one they had left on the shelf. So it looks like one broke uh, around this bottle. But I get this at Walmart of all places. And it's G. Hughes Smokehouse Sugar-Free Barbecue Sauce Hickory Flavored. Um, only two carbs per serving. It does uh, have sucralose in it. It's not my favorite sweetener, but um, I gotta tell you the flavor and consistency of this barbecue sauce is amazing. So I've got my two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. We're just gonna spread this around the crust. And of course you can um, adjust how much barbecue sauce you want on there, uh, just depending on your your nutrition and your taste buds but you're just going to brush it all the way around with your pastry brush and then we're going to top it with our chicken cheese and pineapples all right so i like to add just a very thin layer of mozzarella cheese uh, that i grate myself again you don't want to buy the pre-packaged grated cheese 
because they do add potato starch to the cheese to keep it from clumping together. Um, but anyway, now we're going to go on and we're just going to add our toppings. So I cooked up um, a package of chicken breasts. So I'm just going to sprinkle this all over the pizza. And again, you know, you can make this according to uh, your nutritional, how much meat you like and, you know, etc. One other thing I like to put on this pizza along with the chicken and pepperoni, or I'm sorry, uh, chicken and pineapple is some jalapenos. Uh, it really gives it a nice little kick. All right, so I think that's gonna be enough chicken. As you can see, I went ahead and added a few of the Mount Olive diced jalapeno peppers. Uh, I do like to get these diced jalapenos at our local HEB. They're kind of a generic pepper, but man, they have great flavor and uh, I love this diced brand of peppers. All right, so we've added our pepper or our uh, pineapple onto the pizza now. Um, I wasn't really, typically I would like to use fresh cut pineapple on this pizza, but I'm actually cooking this for leftovers for just myself, and I didn't wanna have a full cut um, pineapple in my house, and they were completely out of the uh, fresh, uh, the smaller fresh containers of pineapple that they make at the store. So I went ahead and got some regular Libby's pineapple tidbits um, in pineapple juice. I just don't like these because they do have pineapple juice in them and uh, it just really kind of adds to the carbohydrates because they use, uh, you know, pineapple juice concentrate and stuff like that. So definitely much, much better with fresh cut pineapple. So now we're gonna go ahead and just top this thing off with our cheese and get this bad boy right, in guys. So this thing is now cheesed up and ready to go in the oven. And you're just gonna bake it until your cheese melts on the top. Usually takes about five minutes or so. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that in. We'll see exactly how long it takes to All cook. All right guys, well here it is, hot out of the oven. This is the cauliflower crust keto-friendly chicken, barbecue, pineapple, and jalapeno pizza. Gonna go ahead and cut this pizza up and enjoy. All right guys, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and sliced into this, gave it a little taste test, and man, did it turn out great. So thanks so much for tuning into my channel tonight to learn how to make this absolutely amazing keto-friendly cauliflower crust, barbecue chicken, pineapple, and jalapeno pizza. Uh, if you guys like this video, please go ahead and drop me your comments, give me your likes, go ahead and share with somebody that you think might find this interesting. And as always, you can find this recipe and more on my blog, www.eatingketoforlife.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. You guys make it a great day.